Now let's say that uh, this example here demonstrates uh, creating a new file called expense2 and then um, you don't always have to pass you know like the methods in this way um, the good thing about this is that you specify a variable and then you call a method so when it returns a value you can use that uh, to you know like to utilize it somewhere else um, or to to track it or log it right so for example in this uh, creates a, uh, the sheet um, service and then uh, it creates a new Google sheet and then here it adds a new tab called data and then it deletes the tab called sheet one yeah the default tab and then it terminates uh, the file uh, the service and then it uh, initializes the drive service here in the same module so this way you can combine all of this together uh, and then it create it uh, uses this move object to uh, move the new file that was created to um, to a folder called expense so let's try this. Uh, I'll go to data. Uh, we'll create a file. By default, the file is added to the main parent folder. So we'll create a file and then move it to this um, expense data folder. Um, we'll call this expense data. And then we'll add a new tab called data within this particular file. And then we'll delete the default uh, sheet. And then we'll move this file to this uh, folder. Okay, so I'm going to run this. So there's expense data there. It got moved. And if I go in here, here's expense data. And if I open this particular um, file, you'll see that the new tab has been added successfully. And then uh, the 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 default tab has been deleted. Okay, so this this is example of how you can combine um, Google Drive uh, methods as well as the sheet uh, methods, and then different ways to call it. You can simply call it uh, in this fashion as well if you don't want to pass it. You know, like x is equal to uh, similar similar to this. Okay, you can call in this fashion as well, or you can directly call the method in this fashion or um, uh, with this particular object dot you know underscore this uh, i mean dot add new method uh, you can also directly call this method if you use this approach then you don't have to put a bracket like you did here